the capsule. Oh, here we go. Did they refire? She's coming back down, folks. She's coming back down. There you go. Look at her. She's coming back down. Wow, this does look like something out of Buck Rogers, doesn't it? Flip maneuver, says Boss Sever. Yep. Proof of concept here, ladies and gentlemen. This is a prototype. This would be the eventual vehicle intended to take astronauts back to the moon and to Mars. And today, NASA announced 18 astronauts, part of its Artemis program, to go back to the moon. It looks like a UFO. Doesn't even look real, does it? This is pretty cool. History in the making, ladies and gentlemen. History in the making. Now it's a plane. Yeah, it does look like a plane. It looks like a cigar flying through space. There you go, folks. Five minutes and 48 seconds into the launch. <laughs> FH Waylou says they're the ones destroying the ozone. <laughs> yeah, actually, aviation does play a major role in that, as do... As do transport ships. Cargo ships are the worst when it comes to ozone depletion and um, carbon dioxide emissions. Yeah, let's hope those engines relight for transit to landing. That's exactly right. Picture on the left looks like a cartoon bullet. It does. It does. It looks like something out of Buck Rogers. That's what I'm talking about, folks. Oop, just descending into cloud cover there. Look at that. Look at that. You can see venting on the side. Look at that. Are the engines firing? They're refiring. There you go. Yes. Yes. Check it out, ladies and gentlemen. Successful. All three engines successfully refired. She's landing. Oh, she blew up. Oh. Folks. She blew up. Did it explode? Let's see. Let's get clear in there. She did flip, did turn, and did fire the engines. But, oh, yeah, perfect, says Tony. But let's see if there's still something standing when that smoke clears, folks. Looked like an explosion when it hit Tony. It was perfect. Ah, nay. Yeah. All right, let's get in closer with a closer angle there, SpaceX. Blow it up again, says Arsalis. Again, folks, proof of concept, prototype, six minutes, 42 seconds is when it came back down. I don't see anything standing, folks. Look to me like she blew up on contact with the ground. All right, come in closer, SpaceX. Let's get a look at what's going on there. No, no, folks, listen, this is success. This is success, success, success. If that thing blew up when it landed, that's okay. It was too fast. Yeah, this is success, folks. It's success. Don't If this thing blew up, that's not a failure. That is not a failure. This is success. It achieved the altitude they hoped for. It did the flip maneuver in the air. It came back down. It turned. It fired the flames. This was a success, ladies and gentlemen. Not a failure. Not a failure here. Congratulations, SpaceX. I mean, if, if that thing is, is just blown to smithereens, it's okay. That is not a failure, ladies and gentlemen. That is success. This is more than we could possibly have hoped for on this mission. There you go. See, look, awesome test. Congrats, Starship team. That is exactly what SpaceX is telling its team. Well done. Well done, folks. Um, so isn't it cool that we can watch it blow up on, on landing and we're excited that this was a success? Stephen Vike says, very successful. Next one is almost ready to go in the near future. Exactly right. Exactly right. I think they need bigger landing springs, says Tony. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just witnessed the successful launch of Starship in this, into orbit, not into orbit, but up into the atmosphere. High altitude launch up to 12.5 kilometers, engines shutting down, craft descending back to Earth, engines successfully refiring, aircraft rotating for landing and coming down in the place it was supposed to. Uh, now, it came down a bit fast and it hit a bit hard and blew up. That's true. But, folks, this was a success, a, a rousing success. Congratulations to SpaceX and the Starship team. As you see there, they're saying awesome test. But look, folks, there's nothing left. <laughs> it's all blown up. 
all blown up. Ah, it's okay, Tony. We expected, you know, things to go like this. This is uh, good. What is Merling doing on this platform? <laughs> there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was a successful launch, and the aerial maneuvers were successful. Really, really well done. Uh, we're going to have to work on the braking system, ladies and gentlemen. That needs a little bit of work. But uh, look, the fire's out. That went out pretty quickly. That's the remains. The capsule looks to be in pretty good shape. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that capsule. Uh, so Bosch Zebra says, this was pretty spectacular. Never say grain silos can't fly. I agree with you, my friend. Yep, Bosch Zebra says, excellent proof of concept. A bit of a hard landing, but this is part of rocket starship development. It is indeed, ladies and gentlemen. SN9, look, they're already ready for the SN9 mission, ready to go. That's the next one up, folks, but not today. Not today, ladies and gentlemen.